Racing, MKC Racing 1-2. They come to the line, lights are out, we're off and racing. It's a great start from the poles. It is an appalling start from the outside of row number one again. That is Bertoccio getting left behind, down towards turn number five. All oh, with three wide, Livio Pinto on the inside there. Somehow they all get round cleanly. I believe this is a 16 lap race. I will defer to anybody who tells me otherwise. But as the drivers head down to oh, and there's somebody running very wide now. Is that uh, that blue chat uh, livery cart? Is that? Is that Gabriel? Or was that Guiliano Cucciololo? I believe it was. Down to eighth position. It's Principali leading Philippe Loaca. Then Jason Berglas. Gregorio Batoccio in fourth position. There he is chasing Berglas's car Republic chassis. Then it is Ramon Rudolf von Rohr in fifth position, followed by Stefan Witwer, Mattia Banella. Then it's Cucciolillo. Pinti, Kuntz, Muller, Bregenza, Zürcher, Silvan and Hartmann. All 15 drivers safely through the opening lap. Out of turn 15, we complete lap number two. And Leonardo Principali opening up a nice three quarters of a second advantage over Philippe Luaca. And again, Principali remains to be seen whether he does the entire series or whether Luaca, who's last year's champion, whether he is effectively collecting maximum championship points. Here's a good battle. Look at this. That is Zurcher. I believe in the middle of Mike Zurcher, possibly in the middle of that battle, where it's one of the, uh, or not Stefan Wittmer, sorry. So I remember the other parallel in chassis two. Four, look at this, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, someone's gone round. That is the number four, one, seven cart of Zurcher. He was in that battle and is now out of that battle. He's still in the race, but he's down to 15th position. It's, uh, Patocho has passed Berglas for third position, so she's going in front of this. So this is uh, Cucciolillo in sixth position. We're watching the blue car, then that black and white parallel chassis of uh, Stefan Witwer, head of Livio Pinti, then Mattia Banella on that cart Republic uh, on all the majority, the, well, the, the mainly black livery cart. Banella looking to the inside of Pinto. Oh, to Pinti. Oh, he's looked the inside and contact there. Pinti, two wheels in the air. And that is two more members of that chasing group of now down towards the back of the field. Incidents are plenty here in the opening stages of the DD2 race. It's going to be more, well, not incidents, more action about to take place up at the front of the field because Gregorio Patocho has caught and passed Philippe Luaca for P2. It's now an MKC 1-2 with Principali leading by 1.2 seconds. Can Tocho and Luaca closing in now, we're going to watch the lap times very, very closely indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Why, do you ask? Well, because there are reports out from the camera crew on the circuit that there are one or two little droplets of moisture beginning to fall. have to say it was forecast earlier on. It was forecast for about lunchtime. We got through lunch unscathed. As, but now, in this penultimate race of the day, are we beginning to get a little bit of moisture on the circuit? Has the rain arrived? I'm saying, on the, looking just through the cameras, on the circuit, can't see a change in the colour of the track surface. Certainly, the drivers, they're, they're attacking this track 
with the same verve and vigour as they were earlier on. Now, Leonardo Principali completes lap number six. His last lap of 49.7. And his fastest lap of the race so far was a 49.1. And I'm looking down, everybody has lost about half a second of their best pace. So, yes, drops of rain in the air. Maybe not creating a massive problem, but it's certainly giving each and every one of these drivers just a little bit of cause for concern. The slick racing tyres will be fully up to temperature. They'll be very hot and very sticky, which means as long as, the as long as the rain doesn't get too badly, the drivers can keep temperature in the rubber. They should be able to negotiate any slight mist of rain without too much difficulty. Principali. Oh, he's dropped another second off his personal best lap time. Now, that's not tyre drop-off. That is drops of rain. That is the circuit beginning to get slightly damp. He's 1.3 seconds in front of his teammate, Botocho. Then it's Luaka. Then it's this battle you're looking at on your screen now. Jason Berglas leading Ramon Rudolf von Ruhr for fourth and fifth position. Behind them is Giuliano Cucciolillo. In sixth, Whitver is seventh. Michael Kuntz is eighth. Eric Muller is ninth. Fabian Braganza is tenth. Then it's Mattia Banella, eleventh. Maya Silvan is it? There goes Von Roer passing Berglas. Thierry Hartmann is thirteenth. Livio Pinti is fourteenth. Mike Zerka is fifteenth. And oh, now Leonardo Principali brings his lap time back to a 49.438. So those couple of spots of rain, again, they haven't amounted to anything. And the com combination of the amount of carts going round the circuit on the racing line and the heat in the tyres and the ambient temperature overhead is dispersing or, you know, keeping the track dry and keeping the track relatively warm. It's been a brisk, shall we say, weather-wise weekend here in Brescia, in northern Italy. But, not freezing cold, but certainly not uh, shorts and t-shirt weather. As uh, there is enough temperature in the track to keep any bits of residual moisture at bay. Gregorio Batoccio shows the track is behaving perfectly by setting a new fastest lap in second place, 49.119 seconds. He reduces his teammate Leonardo Principali's lead to 1.1 seconds. Watching on screen the battle between Stefan Ritver and Michael Kuntz. Kuntz in cart number 443. Witver in cut 409. It's for seventh and eighth positions. They're trailing the blue cart of Giuliano Cucciolillo. Cucciolillo running in sixth position. Here comes a move. That is Michael Kunz looking at the inside. We're going to turn number five. Witver closes the door. Don't forget, these are the two speeds carts so you'll see on the steering wheel there'll be a paddle shift on the carts and uh, plenty of gear changes around this circuit this 1300 meter circuit and now Kuntz looking like he's trying to fight back a little bit he looks to the inside last the late breakers oh and runs wide oh my word and it is raining now because look at that two carts have spun up together and there's a third going up as well. Oh, the rain is coming down. But Tocho has taken the lead. Principali has gone off. And now the rain is coming down in steer rods. They're on lap 12 out of 16. Gregorio Batocho leads this race. Look at the rain coming down. Batocho leads by 1.3 seconds from Philippe Luaka in second. Principali is down to third after spinning off. Oh, my word. You can see the track is getting very, very slick indeed. And they're on slick tyres. Now the temperature will have gone out of those tyres very, very quickly. And they're going to be like skating on ice. 
to driving on ball bearings almost. There is no traction whatsoever. This is the danger zone here. Oh, it's going to be... A, can he get the car so down? Just about Michael Kutz, uh, no, Jason Burglass rather, just about gets that cart slowed down. It's Batocho, Luaka, Principali. Then it is Ramon Rudolf von Rohr. We just saw that. And Burglass battling over fourth and fifth. Cucciolillo is in sixth. Kutz is seventh. Then it's Benella, Bregenza, Zersha, Pinti, Muller, Silvan Hartmann, and Stefan Witwer. Witwer has retired after going off there at turn 14 a lap ago. You can see them now. All the drivers have got to avoid the racing, the traditional dry racing line, because the rubber that's all been laid down, when that gets wet, all the oil in that laid down rubber just comes to surface. It makes it very, very slick indeed. So you've got to try and find a new racing line. You can see this and look at Philippe Luaka. Luaka, this is the one, two, three. We're on lap 13 out of 16. And they're now lapping 10 seconds off the pace. Luwaka's going to get a good run. Can he keep the back end? Yes, he can. Here comes Patocho again, side by side. Principali skating. This is over 100 kilometers an hour on slick tires. In on a wet, uh, well, on a very, very treacherous, damp track. You can see them battling to maintain some sort of control over these carts. Every time you touch the brakes, the back end wants to jump around on you and you want to reverse into the corner, but the cart wants to reverse into the corner. The drivers have got to use every single ounce of their skill now to keep the cart facing the correct way and maintain enough speed to try and battle for the win of this race. It is the Sodi cart of defending champion Philippe Luaka, who was down in third position, who is now leading but under increasing pressure. And every single time... Gregorio Batocho gets alongside, oh sorry, uh, Principali gets alongside Luaka and puts the power down. The car wants to jump sideways and take out its rival. And now he's done it. He gets a great run coming off the final corner as we start. Lap 15 out of 16. They're lapping 15 seconds a lap slower than what they were in when the track was dry and when the skies were not leaking moisture all over them. Principali led, lost the lead, had a moment because, of course, he would be the first one to come into every corner. He had nobody to gauge the track conditions off. So he was the guinea pig. He went into, I think it was turn 14, and that's where the rain started. Went straight off because he had nobody in front of him to sort of gauge the grip level. He dropped back to third. He's now caught and passed uh, Patocha, his teammates, and Luaka once again. But... If conditions change, we've got a lap and a half to go. Luwaka is now sort of in a prime position because if track conditions change, he can judge how grippy the surface is based on what happens to Principali's cart. Now, lap times have come down again. They went up to one minute, 10 seconds. They're now back down to one minute. We start the final lap. The rain has stopped again. That was a very, very brief squall. So the track is now drying out once again. But of course, Principali has got nothing to gauge of how aggressive to be. Philippe Luaka knows exactly how aggressive he's got to be because he can see what is happening with Principali's cart. He is making a split second decision. Every single corner is Philippe Luaka based on what he sees Principali do. Principali is effectively driving blind into every corner. But the good news is he only has three more corners. Make that two more corners to go. Here comes Philippe Luaka. He'll swing to the outside. Will he? No, he'll dive at the inside. Can he get the cart slowed down? The crossover move is on. And Principali retakes the position, retakes the lead and takes the checkered flag.